Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm really excited because this is going to be my first actual painting in my new studio. I know my last video I did a few small pieces just kind of testing out the lights. And I'm still not really happy with the lights. I'm going to keep working on my setup, but it's okay for now. Um, so the few that I did, they dried beautifully. This one, I have this one. I think this is probably my favorite one. And then this was the, I think this might have been the first one I did. This is the straight pour. Um, so I want to do something bigger. I'm going to use the same colors. And this is going to be something that I'm hopefully going to put on my wall. <laughs> my I just moved into a new place and the walls are really bare. So... And I'm going to use these same colors, I think. I really like just, it's simple, these three colors. I think of the few that I've done, um, oh, I didn't show you the, the first one, the ring pour that I did. Um, I'm thinking, I really like types of pieces like this or something that was, there was something that obviously interfered with how the paint moved. Um, so I think I might try this on a bigger scale and maybe a few of the rings and twist it and wreck it like this and kind of see how that goes. So I'll stick with the same colors. It was uh, phthalo blue, cerulean blue, and white. Pretty simple, right? And I had my split cup. So I'm just going to keep refilling this and doing rings and then fill up the canvas. I I'm not sure what size I'm going to use, I have to think. I have a few. <laughs> and then just keep filling it up and hopefully, um, hopefully we get something good. So wish me luck. I will get the canvas and then we will get started. All right, I'm back. I mixed up a bunch more paint and I put some iridescent pore medium in a couple of them. So I decided to go with this 24 by 30 inch canvas pretty good size. I have some bigger ones, but I think I'll stick with this one for now. It's still a lot bigger than the last couple I tested on. Um, so I make my paint um, this time pretty thick. Um, there's a link to a video in the description if you want to see, but it's pretty much like that or a little thicker. I'm just going to show you. I got this beautiful cerulean blue and I have a little bit of that iridescent pore medium in there. See how thick that is? There's quite a mound left there when you drizzle. And I have the um, phthalo blue. So that cerulean blue is by Artist Loft. This one is just a sax. A sax. I got it on Amazon. It was a gift, I think, maybe a while ago, and I'm trying to use it up, but it's it's pretty good. I have some of that iridescent pouring medium in that too. Nice and sparkly. And then I also have the titanium white. There's no iridescence in this one. I wanted to have one that wasn't like that. So if you have, if you have one that's no sparkles in it, the other ones look really sparkly against it. So that's kind of what I'm going for there. And then I also have um, just a plain white mixed up a little bit thinner than that. And I'm going to use that as a flow accentor. I think I'm going to put a thin layer of paint on the whole canvas first. All right, so I am going to pour this paint into the split cup. It's dry, but I'm using the same colors as last time. I'm just going to pour them in the same slot, same, <laughs> same slots. And I think I'll start the first one in the middle and see how far it spreads on its own. And then I'll go from there to see how much more I'll need. And I'll rock them all at once and then tilt it out. Thank you. 
I'm really seeing the iridescence in that, that darker blue. All right, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna use a, it's just a palette knife. I think I'll fix up these little circles first. I'm just going to take my paint knife here and scrape under the edge to get rid of all the extra paint that's there. Okay, I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. <clears throat> so I'm not sure. Now that plain white that I used as the flow extender and kind of the base was just like a cheap, cheap paint and um, I'm kind of regretting using it to be honest I'm not sure how this is going to turn out now these big wide white strips here are that paint because they were kind of what was around the rings if that makes any sense so they showed up and now if you look really close it kind of looks like frothy foamy it might give it it might look really good when it's dry I don't know and another thing I'm seeing is it's it's kind of coming up if you see here that'll focus there's little spots it almost it's almost as if there's like an oil like a silicone or something under it like these weird see this here some of these coming up through so I mean it might turn out looking really awesome it might not I don't really know so we'll see there's some more of them coming up it's just like a school paint like a I was just trying to use it up so anyway, we'll see when this dries. Um, other than that, I was starting to think that there was too much going on with the amount of rings I put on there. So that's why I started tilting and kind of get rid of some of the extra. So I think it's better now. There's still a lot to look at, but I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be too crazy. So I will show you this one is dry. All right, here it is. What do you think of this? So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, I wasn't sure what to think about the uh, that cheaper paint I used for the base, and it was um, making that weird effect. But I really, really like it. You see the I gave it a neat design on the edges. I'll show you this on the wall. It'll probably be a lot easier to see. All right, this is better. So I'll be able to give you a better look here. So as you can see, it dried really nice and that cheaper paint is between the rings here and it really gave it some character. It's kind of like more of a, a, a fuzzy edge. 
and then the uh, titanium white that I used in the rings is nice and crisp and clear so that's kind of a nice little bit of a contrast there. Let me know what you think of these colors and the design or if you have any suggestions or ideas or anything you want me to try let me know. I am always open to commission work as well. You can send me an email at the email address on the screen or it's in the description as always. So you can see a lot better on the edge here these white spots that was that like a it's almost like a like an oil coming up from underneath it's not silicone or anything like that it's just it's from that cheap paint and it actually gave it a really nice effect i was kind of worried about this this coming up everywhere and taking over the entire thing but the little bit that came up was kind of perfect so i love it what do you think thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye